Thank you. Hi, yes, I'm Carly Kerfman. I'm here to talk about ambulatory colectomy and a pathway for advancing your enhanced recovery protocol. Uh, I personally have no disclosures, but Dr. Layla Rashidi has uh, an honorary te honorarium for teaching with CSATs and intuitive surgical. Okay. So since the advent of advanced, excuse me, enhanced recovery after surgery protocols and minimally invasive surgery, they have both independently decreased the length of stay associated with colectomy. As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic over the past two years, hospital elective cases and post-operative admissions have been severely limited by the resources and the constraints due to COVID. Due to these limited resources in conjunction with the witness decrease that we see in ERAS protocols and in minimally invasive surgery, we began to routinely employ same-day discharge after colectomy and select patients as a step up from our ERAS protocols. From our experience and a review of a brief literature that is available, we feel that same-day discharge after colectomy in the correct patient population is potentially safe and a feasible management plan. So I'm here to talk to you about um, the description of our implemented protocol as a step up from ERAS, report inclusion and exclusion criteria for same-day discharge after colectomy, discuss post-procedure criteria for discharge plans and follow-up, and discuss components of ERAS protocols and the advancements that have been made. While practicing same-day discharge after colectomy, it's important to define the patients who meet appropriate criteria in the preoperative setting to be candidates for your same-day discharge program. These criteria for us in particular included adequate outpatient support system, meaning that they would have family members or social support at home that would be able to be present, keep an eye on them, answer questions, realize any differences or complications. There has to be appropriate means for patient-physician communication after discharge. This was established at the preoperative period by either cell phone, internet, whatever may have you, that the patient would be able to get in touch with the physician as well as the physician in touch with the patient. Thorough patient and family education understanding was essential to the success of this program and the additional criteria is that they have to be an elective surgical resection. resection. Exclusion criteria, emergency surgery, no social support, regular anticoagulation or antiplatelet use, and no major comorbidities. We performed this study as a retrospective review on all of our colectomies performed at our institution from February 2019 through January 2022. Ambulatory or same-day discharge colectomy was defined by this protocol as a patient stay of less than 23 hours with no overnight admission. Any patient who fulfilled this criteria, as well as the previously stated inclusion and exclusion criteria, were included in this study. From that time period, we identified 326 non-emergent colectomies, of which 115 patients met criteria for a same-day discharge rate of 35%. The age range of our population was 21 to 89, with a slight female predominance of 67 to 48, as well as a median ASA of 2. Patient age, gender, and anticipated consult time were not factors in the determination preoperatively for SDD candidacy. Throughout our study, we saw one patient who was readmitted for a readmission rate of 0.8%. This slide is just a breakdown of the indications and the cases that were performed. The majority of our cases were performed for a cancer diagnosis for 48%, as well as 52% of the cases were low anterior resections, followed by our second case of right hemicolectomy. This slide um, shows you the breakdown of the case breakdown as well as the percentage of the same day discharge, the age, the sex, the operative time, the consult time, and the local anesthetic block distribution that was used for our patients. For preoperative evaluation, like I said, we consisted of an extensive family and patient support system education. We educated on the procedure, preoperative instructions, postoperative discharge criteria, and any complications to expect in the postoperative course once the patient was home. We assessed for adequate outpatient family and social support, as well as means of communication. We provided this format in both in-person and patient handouts. We reviewed the patient history for inclusion and exclusion criteria and assessed um, the, comp the communication metrics. Comparing preoperative ERAS components and advancements where have we advanced from an ERAS from the preoperative setting? 
ERAS's backbone is established on the patient education and understanding of the procedure. However, we expanded upon that to include family communication as well, and it significantly increased family and preoperative education throughout all phases of care. We continued many other factors as described below. For the intraoperative criteria in the ambulatory colectomy, we said we must be, the procedure must go as planned, uncomplicated with no major aberration from the intended procedure. It must be performed in a minimally invasive approach as well as the extraction site. If we're able to perform natural orifice or extract from the ostomy defect, we do that. If not, we perform a fan and seal incision. We also um, perform the procedure in a minimal manipulation approach by moving the bowel with positional changes, sweeping and um, instrumentation rather than grasping and moving the bowel itself in order to help decrease ileus rates. And again, we continue the remainder of the ERAS guidelines like the surgical site bundle and judicious fluid use, as described on this slide. So postoperatively, in PAGU, patients must meet strict criteria to stay eligible for their SCD candidacy, which includes tolerating PO intake, hemodynamically stable, incentive spirometer education and use, ability to be out of bed and ambulating, and pain adequately controlled on PO medications and spontaneous voids. Our patients do not receive Foley catheters if they're performed a right hemicolectomy. Left hemicolectomies will have their Foley catheter and still with 200 cc's of normal saline and then removed prior to leaving the operating room. For post-operative ERAS components, they must meet all of the described SCD PACI criteria, which is essentially an expedited ERAS protocol. No post-operative urinary catheters are used. There's no confirmation of bowel function prior to discharge. And then there is, like, again, as I mentioned, increase and repeated patient and social support system on education and expectations when they go home, as well as a plan for increased patient and family communication. And finally, after discharge, patients continue on a clear liquid diet and advance is tolerated. They are discharged with PO Zofran, gabapentin, and naproxen, and PO Dilaudid on an only as needed basis when the other medications cannot control severe pain. The patient is contacted by the operating physician on postoperative day one to assess their status, as well as a physician specific, a colorectal um, specific physician assistant or trainee on postoperative day three, and they have their first follow up appointment in our office on postoperative day five or seven. Conclusions. In the correct patient population, advancing ERAS protocols to a same day discharge protocol is safe, as, ex as shown by our complication rate of 0.8%. Several of the ERAS protocol criteria are expanded and uh, um, advanced upon to undergo a successful same-day discharge. Communication and collaboration between the patient, family, and multiple units throughout the hospital are essential to the success of same-day discharge. By following the guidelines proposed by ERAS and expanding upon them, we feel that same-day discharge after colectomy as a step up from traditional ERAS protocols can be reproducible and safe at other institutions in the right patient subset. We currently are completing secondary studies on our data to review long-term follow-up of our patients to evaluate for complications, assess their satisfaction, and an analyze the cost-benefit analysis associated with same-day discharge. I'd like to thank you all and the society for your time, and if anyone has any questions.